In this tutorial we will discuss laser. Let's discuss with basic of laser. The laser is a device that emits electromagnetic light radiation through a process of optical amplification based on the stimulated emission of photons. The term laser originated as an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. The emitted laser light is notable for its high degree of spatial and temporal coherence. Laser lights are different than ordinary lights by as follows. The laser lights have monochromic light that means a laser emits light beam of single frequency and single wavelength. The laser lights have directionality that means a laser emits light beam in one particular direction. The laser lights have high intensity of light that means a laser beam can be focused on a very small area. A 1 watt laser is thousand times more intense than 100 watt ordinary lamp. The laser lights are coherence that means there is definite phase correlation between photons in a laser beam. Stimulated absorption or induced absorption. It is the process in which, when an external photon is applied to an atom, then the electron present in the lower energy state excited to higher energy state. Let us consider an atom which is initially in lower energy state having energy E1. If a photon of energy H nu is incident on an atom in lower state, then the atom absorb this incident amount of energy and jump to upper state having energy E2 such that H nu is equal E2 minus E1. This process is known as stimulated absorption or induced absorption. We may express it as A plus H nu photon goes to excited atom A star. Where, A is an atom in ground state and, A star is the same atom in excited state. Here, in the figure it is clearly seen that ground state atom absorb applied photon of H nu and goes to excited state. Spontaneous emission. Let us consider an atom which is in higher energy state E2. As we all know that the normal lifetime of an atom in excited state is 10 to the power minus 8 second, so the atom will make a transition to lower energy state E1 due to its short lifetime and atom always try to stay in lower energy state. During such transition, Atom will release a photon of energy H nu, where H nu is equal to E2 minus E1. The emission of photon occurs on its own without any external afford. This process is known as spontaneous emission. Hence, we can say that the process of emission of a photon by an atom without any external agency is called spontaneous emission. Here, excited state atom, A star goes to ground state atom A releasing H nu photon. In the figure it is clearly seen that the excited state atom goes to ground state atom without any external photon releasing photon of H nu. Stimulated emission. An atom in excited state E2 can also make the transition to lower energy state E1 by applying photon of sufficient energy H nu. During such transition, emission of second photon takes place having same frequency, same direction, same phase as that of incident photon. Such process is known as stimulated emission. This process may be expressed as A star plus H nu is equal to A plus 2 H nu photons. Here is two photons because, one is incident photon which is applied to let down the excited atom and next is emitted photon. In this process an excited state atom jumps from higher energy state to lower energy state. During such transition it emits a radiation that is called lasers light which are coherence, monochromic, unidirectional and have high intensity. There are so many atoms in excited state and they produce individual laser light and such individual laser light have definite phase correlation, due to which it produce amplified light. This much for today, thanks for watching, bye bye, see you.